Hello, it's Nikki. Welcome back to part two, all about services and products and taking you behind the scenes of why I do what I do and giving you lots of prompts for you to think about when you are devising and creating things for your next chapter. Okay, the first thing I want to ask today is, are you the right person? So you might have an idea for a product or a service and you might say, this is going to be great, like this will be so needed. Or maybe you look back on your own life of like thinking, God, a year ago, I would have loved if this thing existed or if this service existed, it would have been so useful. And there is a lot to be said for that. But that doesn't mean that you need to be that person who does that thing. Also, in the scheme of what it is that you're offering, if you are offering something that maybe just feels a bit of a a curveball or something that is like, oh, what? Okay, I'm not really sure. I don't understand how that makes sense in terms of what she offers. Um, Okay, yeah, I can sort of take that on. I want you to think about those things because just because we know a little bit about something doesn't mean that we have to be the person to build that business. Or equally, it doesn't mean just because you read a book, I've seen this so many times, it doesn't mean just because you've read a book and you resonated with it that you can suddenly create a course based on the principles of that book and share it like it's your own work because we know that it isn't because you just read that book. And I see that so often is that we also, I think, feel that pressure that we have just because we got value from something, therefore we have to monetize it or therefore we have to put ourselves out for it. And um, and we don't. And we don't. Sometimes we can just do the things that we know are in our zone of genius, to quote the book by Gay Hendricks, The Big Leap. If you haven't read it, read it. It's brilliant. Read it, rather. Um, okay, the second one is, can you give tangible results. I want you to imagine um, somebody inquiring about your business and being in that position where somebody sent them. And so their energy is a bit off. They have that thing like they're leaning back in their chair. They don't really want to be there. And they're rolling their eyes a bit. Imagine the most exaggerated version of that. I want you to think about the tangible results that you provide. Once again, I see people promising the moon on a stick. I'm going to help you do this. I'm going to help you do this. And we're going to do X, Y, and Z. And you think, hang about, we've only got half an hour together. Wow, like you're either going to work super fast or there's just not going to be a sense of me being able to process all of this. So I want you to imagine what those tangible results are and really go into detail about what that looks and feels like and making sure that you can stand in full integrity, um, that you can offer what it is that you say you are offering and that you feel comfortable with that whole process. For example, my speaking course, Speak Up. I feel that I can provide tangible results because the principles that I have created in this course, I have applied to my own speaking career. I get paid frequently and well as a speaker. I feel in full integrity in in terms of that. But the fact that I might have, I don't know, played around with something or um, I don't know, built. Okay, here's an example. If you suddenly do a DIY website, I would not say, like I could probably get something up there or lie for something, but I'm certainly not the best person. I can't say with full integrity, I'm going to give you these tangible results because I feel like that is an area of my life and my business that I'm working out as I go. So, Be really clear about what the results are and make sure that you can stand in full integrity and feel really good about that. Um, Okay, here we go. Here we go. Can you say it out loud and can you feel 
really good about doing that. And I think that there are times in life where we can step up. You know those moments where is there a doctor present and actually the only people who can do that medical surveillance, that medical support, are people who are medically trained. And you could be helpful on the side, um, making a cup of tea or getting a blanket or making a phone call or whatever it might be. But if you started to do the medical surveillance, you would actually become unhelpful because you're not trained to do that. And I think that is the moment as well that People who are looking to purchase your services, they want to know that they are in safe hands. Um, They want to know that you are going to be a leader, that you are going to do the equivalent of taking somebody's hand and going, don't worry, I've got this. You know those tradespeople that sometimes come around and they're like, no worries, I've seen this. I've seen this time and time again. It's easily fixable. We'll just do X, Y, and Z. Great. I love it when somebody can just assess a situation and they know exactly what to do. The person that you don't is when somebody comes into your home and you've supposedly employed them, not employed them, but paid them to become an expert. They go, I don't know, what do you think? Or I don't know, what what do you think we should do? And you're left going, hang on, you're the expert here. I don't want to make decisions because you, I need more advice, I need more information. And so what I want to say is make sure that the things that you are offering, you feel very, very confident in that you can actually do. So that person who invests in you, who books you, who hires you, feels like, okay, good, I've made a good decision here. This all feels really great. That's it for this episode. I do believe, yes, I've got some more points to make in part three, part four. The next thing you can do is come on over to my website, nikkiraby.com and check out the personal brand plan. Um, It's under programs. It will be really useful, really helpful for you if you're looking at how you're going to position yourself online. Equally, if you go to the money page, um, there's a pricing and packaging course there. So if you're looking at reworking your offers, your services, go and take that course or book a one-on-one with me. Um, It will really guide you through and provide some clarity and also give you that understanding of why you're doing what you're doing. I think that's really important as well. So nickyraby.com, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.